everyone this is Jenny with Jen Crafts. On today's how-to video we're painting a mushroom and I'll show you how to create textures and depth with Jen Crafts watercolors. You're going to need watercolor paper, Jen Crafts watercolor palette, a detail brush, white acrylic paint or pen, water and some napkins. I've created a very simple mushroom sketch and using the watercolor brush that comes with the palette, I'm adding some tangerine to the cap of the mushroom. You can find the colors of each watercolor pan in the back of the box. I'm starting with a light orange to create a highlight and then I'm adding red orange to the sides. Let's say the light is coming from the right side of the mushroom so we can define where our lightest and darkest colors should be. After cleaning my brush, I use it to lift away a little bit of the color to make it lighter. We are going to keep creating depth on the sides by adding a darker color. In this case, I'm using Scarlet. For the stem, I'm using a very light mix of cool gray and umber. Since the light is coming from the right, I'm going to add color only on the left side, leaving some white areas to give texture. To paint the ground, I'm using umber. Now using the detail brush, which is a tiny brush, I add the same color with less water to create more texture. Using the same color, I'm creating some texture to the stem by adding some lines. I'm giving the stem some more shadows and texture with red-orange. Mixing golden brown and black to create some details. To give even more dimension to the cap, I'm adding scarlet mixed with umber. Here I'm adding some pewter to the inside of the mushroom. This will help us create more shadow and contrast. And here's a little tip. The key to create depth in watercolors is painting in layers. We build more contrast by adding dark colors. To create the white dots there are different techniques. You can leave the areas unpainted where you want the white dots to be. You can use masking fluid or you can use acrylic paint or ink like I did here. I'm also adding some highlights to the stem and some texture to the ground. To create even more depth, I'm adding a mix of scarlet, umber and black underneath the white dots. Olive was the perfect color for the grass, using short and quick strokes in different directions and using different greens will create a realistic effect. Here I'm adding even more depth by adding more dark lines and some more texture to the ground. And that's it guys! I hope you've learned some techniques to get your art to the next level. Feel free to share your mushroom painting with us on social media using the hashtag GenCraftsHowTo. 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.